Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to the Augusta Baker Storytelling Experience, inclusion programming for children of all ages, otherwise known as AB Kids. I am Valerie Bird Fort. My pronouns are she, her. I am an instructor for the School of Information Science at the University of South Carolina. I teach courses in children's literature, school libraries, and library programming, and I am so glad you're here. This story, this series is named in honor of Augusta Braxton Baker, who was the first African American coordinator of children's services within the New York Public Library system. She worked at New York Public Library for 37 years and then came to South Carolina, where she served as the library school storyteller in residence for 14 years. Before we get started, I have a few reminders. We are recording today's session. And it will be hosted on Dr. Nicole Cook's Augusta Baker webpage, which I will share the link to in just a moment. Make sure that you are on mute unless you have a question or if you've been asked to unmute yourself by our speaker, you can leave your camera on or you can turn it off, whatever you're most comfortable with. Feel free to participate freely in the chat. I will be moderating the chat during the presentation. Feel free to use reactions. So in your Zoom controls, you have reactions where you can share hearts and smiley faces and um, all kinds of things, hand claps. So uh, feel free to participate that way. And then in the chat, let us know where you're watching from and especially if you've got kiddos with you today. As mentioned, today's program is part of a series. Please visit the AB Kids website to register for future sessions and to explore and register for all Baker programming. The link will be posted in the chat. This season, we are so honored to have members of Storytime Solidarity joining us. Hi. Thank you so much for including us in this session. We're so pleased with the, the work that we're able to help continue through this program. So um, I'm thrilled this morning to introduce um, Ms. Ingrid, Ms. Christina online. She's a YouTuber and out school teacher, um, experienced library worker, and just such an amazing member of the Storytime Solidarity team. She was one of the first to join me. And uh, one of the biggest projects we've worked on together is our anti-racist song list, where we're working to make it as easy to share kind songs that um, celebrate every child as it is to accidentally include songs that dehumanize. So she's done amazing work with us. I can't say um, what a valuable member of the team she is, but also the entire team is just amazing, really a dream team. So thrilled that um, Ingrid has agreed to go first today and really looking forward to her beautiful story time. Thank you. Thanks, Kate. Okay, so we're going to do it story time style. So uh, hello, everyone. Hello, friends. Hello, kids. I'm Miss Christina, um, Ingrid Christina, but you'll know me by Miss Christina. I'm so excited to be here with Storytime Solidarity, and let's get started. Hello, hello to you, hello to me, and hello to you too. Hello, hello to you, hello. So all the songs that, and rhymes you hear today are original. Um, we are trying to offer people alternatives to some of the classic songs and rhymes, which the history we, we might not know. And all of the songs that we uh, are sharing today and on Storytime Solidarity are kind songs and are free from any harmful history. So here is an action rhyme to get us even more warmed up, get ourselves moving, okay, friends? Now, caregivers, do the actions with me as well. Kids learn more from you than they learn from me. So caregivers and kids, join me now. Here we go. One, two, three, stretch with me. Four, five, six, bend like 
this. Seven, eight, nine, it's bouncing time. 10, 11, 12, let's hug ourselves. Yes, give yourself a big hug. If you have a caregiver there and you want to get a caregiver hug, you can do that too. We all need hugs and especially self-hugs and self-love. All right, friends. Very good. Now, have you ever wanted to do something or wear something and people said you couldn't because you were a girl or you were a boy? I sure have. <laughs> so I want to show you a book today. It's called My Fate is Fresh. And I love this book for many reasons. First, we're going to see a lot of beautiful black hairstyles in this book. And we're also going to see the fade. And the fade is what I have. <laughs> and I love this book because just like our girl here, I go into the barber shop and I say that I would like to have a fade. And some people react good to that. They're happy about that. And some people give me looks. And we're going to see what happens when this girl goes in and asks for a fade, which is a hairstyle usually worn by boys and men, but this girl's going to have a really awesome fade. And this book is by Shantae Grant and Kit Thomas. My fade is fresh. Ooh, look at this page here. Do you say, see anything cool on this page that you might see in a barber shop? Yes, we have a comb, we have scissors, we have a brush. I just love going to the barber shop. Okay, and here's our girl. And in she comes with her mom. Look, everyone's so excited, yay! It's haircut day. Here she comes. What would you like today? And she says, a fade. Not just any fade. The freshest fade. <laughs> the freshest fade. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. How's the barber feeling about that? Well, okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> this person's not so sure, right? Hmm. Should she have a fade? I don't know. Well, what happens? So, other people have opinions. What kind of hair should she have? Maybe instead of a fade, she should have a fizzy fro. Kind of a neat and round fizzy fro. Is that what she asked for? No. Someone else says, oh wait, no. How about cornrows? Maybe, maybe she should have some long cornrows. Well, cornrows are awesome, but that's not what she asked for, is it? Hmm, the barber is thinking, you know, maybe instead of a fade, maybe a ponytail. Maybe that would be better. How does she feel about this ponytail? That's not what she asked for, is it? I mean, it looks great, but that's not what she wants. Oh no. Okay, it's getting closer, but it's really still not a fade, is it? Oh no, she's starting to sweat. She's starting to cry a little bit. Finally, she finds her voice and she says, please, May I have the freshest, flyest fade? There she goes. Okay, will everybody listen to her? They're still not sure if she should have a fade, but in the end, okay, a little bit more clipping. Oh, this is my favorite part. Bzz, bzz. Oh, it feels so good, Bzz, the clippers and the styling on top and a little bit of 
final arranging and how does she look? She looks awesome. Look, there she is. She has her fade. Very good. And you know what? This other girl here, she notices and she can see how awesome that our girl here looks with her fade. So friends, this book reminds us to pay attention to what feels good to us. And some other people might not agree, but, you know, pay attention to what feels good to you. So that is My Fade is Fresh by Shantae Grant and Kit Thomas. Okay, now, I got to tell you that when you want to do something that's a little bit different, uh, you might have to deal with some difficult feelings. Uh, you'll have big feelings for sure. And, uh, you know... I have a rhyme to help you deal with some of these big feelings, okay? From good feelings to not so good feelings, okay? So caregivers, friends, do the rhyme with me now, okay? It goes like this. When I'm feeling happy, zappy, tappy, clappy, I stretch my arms and I say, well, I feel happy now. When I'm feeling sad, so very, very bad, I say, hey, it's okay if I cry today. When I have a worry, I feel it in my tummy. I close my eyes and visualize my favorite place to be. When I'm feeling angry, zangry, tangry, bangry, I don't hit and I don't shout. Instead, I breathe it out. Breathe in, breathe out. One more time, breathe in, breathe out. Last time, breathe in and breathe out. And then I feel calm again. Okay, friends? So caregivers, friends, do that rhyme. And that'll help you feel calm and deal with the big feelings that you're going to need to deal with. Okay? All right. Now, friends, I have another wonderful book I want to share with you today. Have you ever felt strongly about something? And the people around you didn't think it was that interesting or that important. I sure have. I'm really excited to tell you about this book called Greta and the Giants. Inspired by Greta Thunberg's stand to save the world. Now, this book is fiction, which means we use our imagination to tell the story. The real story didn't happen exactly like this, but it is based on a true story. Okay, now, the real person Greta, the real Greta Thunberg is autistic, and so am I. And autistic people uh, experience the world differently from some other people. Greta experienced a deep love and concern for the earth and the environment. And she just had to find a way to let people know. Telling them didn't really work. She wasn't able to make them understand how much she cared. So she found a way with a sign. So let's take a look. Okay, so here is Greta and here she, you can see her loving the earth, loving the animals. Do you see any plants here that you recognize? I see some trees here and see some grass. And are there any animals here that you know? Yep, I see a bear, a wolf, an owl, 
And Greta wants the earth and the animals to be healthy. Well, there were some giants. And the giants were not taking good care of the earth. And they were polluting. Do you think that's good for the plants and the animals? It was not good. And Greta got upset. She got very upset. And she was worried about the animals and the trees were dying. Um, and the giants were not listening to her. So she came up with an idea. What could she do to make them stop and listen? She made a sign. Now here in our fictional book, the sign says S-T-O-P, stop, stop. Okay, it's a very simple sign. That's what she made in, the, in our book here. That's what she made. But did anybody, did anybody listen to her sign? Did anybody look at her sign? Yes, yes. Do you know who looked at her sign and listened to her sign? Other people that felt the same way. Other kids that cared deeply about the earth saw her sign and they made their own signs. Greta followed her heart and other people noticed Ah, someone else feels like I do. I'm not alone. And they all made signs. Well, when they all made signs, the giants did stop to listen. It was a lot easier to see all the signs than just one sign. Now, friends, when you have to tell something to a giant, that can make you feel very, very small. Remember my feelings rhyme, uh, because there's gonna be a lot of feelings to, to work through when you tell something to a giant. But, finally, all the kids were able to make the giants listen and take a little bit better care of the earth. Now our book here has a happy ending. See the giants are, they're working together. They're making their own clothes. They're appreciating the environment more. Uh, that's not how it ended in real life. In real life, Greta is still working to get people to stop and listen. But Greta has a message for everyone who feels very small and like they can't make a difference. Greta says, the real Greta Thunberg says, no one is too small to make a difference. There it is. No one is too small to make a difference. Now you don't have to make a difference all by yourself. Remember, other people joined Greta. Um, and you know, most important, love yourself, take care of yourself. Because it's not, it's not easy. But you can do it with your caregivers and the people that you love. You can make a difference. I have a song today. Oh look, I've been forgetting to uh, move my star. So let's see, we did our warm up, we did our book, we did our rhyme. We did our second book, and now I have another song for you about feeling small. Feeling small and where you can get your strength from. This is the Sing, Rhyme, and Play song. Here we go. A song, a story, and a game. Just sing, rhyme, and play. Where should I be? 
Just sing, rhyme, and play. You've got everything right inside your heart, and that's where you start. Mo had no castle to live inside. He didn't have a carriage to take him for a ride. Mo asked a cloud, but what have I? got a song, a story, and a game. Just sing, rhyme, and play. You've got everything right inside your heart, and that's where you start. And that's where you start. Okay, friends, so when in doubt, Sing a song, say a rhyme, or play a game, and you'll find strength in your heart. Okay? Very good. Now, I have one more book to share with you today. And this book is called Jazz for Lunch. Jazz for Lunch by Jarrett. I had to write down the pronunciation of Jarrett's name. Jarrett Dapier. Uh, Jarrett Dapier and A. Eugenia Mello. And what I love about this book is that it shows us how we can connect with people who are very different from us. So friends, remember, if your hairstyle is a little bit different than people expect, or you're telling people things maybe they don't want to hear, things you care about, you might find that you need to connect with, <laughs> you know, I saw Jarrett Dape here on AB Kids. I see that um, Valerie's posting that uh, Jarrett did uh, participate in, Dave, uh, in, in AB Kids. So yeah, this is a great book. And friends, I'm just going to read you a little bit of it today, but get this book from your library and sit with your grown-up and read every word. And I guess oh, with story time, Solidarity worked with Jared as well. Okay, so, friends, if you're finding you're having trouble connecting with someone, you can almost always talk to them about good food and good music. Everybody, almost everybody can appreciate good food and good music. Okay, so here we go. Here we have Junior and Aunt Nina, and they love listening to live music. Here, here they are at the club. And do you see any instruments here that you know? Yep, here's a piano, yes. And we've got a saxophone and a trumpet. And look at all the good feelings, you know, the good sounds and the good feelings coming from the musicians in the club. Well, Junior and Nina, they also love to create. And they love to create the most delicious meals. Hold on a second, I think I skipped. Did I skip too far ahead? Yeah, okay. Uh, Junior and Aunt Nina, they love to make their own kind of music in the kitchen. So they uh, love all the sounds and all the smells and it feels good in the kitchen, just like in the jazz club. Do you see any foods here that you know? Mm -hmm, I see some broccoli, I see some tomatoes. And we've got some great sounds going on. We've got sizzle, 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 chop, 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 sizzle, 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 chop, chop, chop. And they're having so much fun making their food and their music. Look at, look at Aunt Nina here. She's, 
She's playing the celery like a trumpet. <laughs> They're just having the best time cooking together. And there go all the ingredients into the pot. The stew is cooking. And oh, look, look what's coming out of the pot. There's good sounds and good smells. Can you smell it? Mmm, that smells delicious. Well, then they hear another sound. Another sound. Knock, 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 knock. What could that sound be? Okay, you've got smells from the kitchen going out, but you've got something else good coming in. Who is coming in? It's the band from the club. Nina invited them for lunch. Nina and Junior appreciated their music so much, she invited them to come appreciate what they make. And here they all are, friends. Everybody together around the big table, enjoying music and enjoying food. All kinds of different people. We've got some salad, we've got some noodles, looks like some pizza, and some pie and tacos, and they sure did work hard. All right, so you're gonna read this whole book together with your teacher or your caregiver. Today, I wanted to show you about the power of good food and good music to connect with someone maybe you're not connecting with. You can ask them, hey, what's your favorite food? Or hey, <laughs> what's your favorite kind of music? And also, don't forget to, to help uh, clean up if you, if you cook food with your grown up. All right. Now, you can sing any kind of song that you want when you're cooking or making food. But I have a song that I hope you'll sing, um, along with all of, the other, all of the other songs that you like to sing. This is called the Stew Song. And here we've got uh, our pot. And we've got some ingredients here, okay? And I need your help making stew. I need your help chopping the ingredients. So caregivers, please, caregivers and kids, <laughs> help me chop the ingredients for the stew, okay? So here we go, chop, 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 chop. We are chopping our onion. This is an onion, okay? Chop, 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 chop. Keep chopping, keep chopping. Okay, very good. There goes the onion into the pot. Okay, next, please help me chop some celery. Okay, chop, 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 chop. Keep chopping, keep chopping. There we go. Good, good chopping. There goes the celery into the pot. Okay. Now, what's next? What is this? Do you know what this is? A carrot. Yes. Chop, 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 chop. Good. Oh, Kate is a good chopper. <laughs> good chopping. Here goes the carrot into the pot. Very nice. And here we have a potato. I'm going to leave the skin on my potato, okay? So you could peel it. I like to leave the skin on. Chop, 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 chop that potato. And there we go. Okay. All the food is in the pot. Cooking. And we're also going to have to set the table. So here's a bowl and here's a spoon. So we're going to have to set the table. And then right before we eat, we're going to have to say thank you. Thank you for all the food and for all of the work. And here we go, the stew song. Now, you already know when you hear chop, chop, chop in the song to do chop, chop, chop. We're also going to have yum, 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 yum. When you hear yum, 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 you rub your tummy. 
and you're going to hear, oh yay, oh yay, throw your arms up. So caregivers, you please lead your little ones in the motions, chop, 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 yum, 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 and oh yay. Okay, so let's enjoy some stew. Yum, yum, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> We're in the key of G here. Here we go. Yum, 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 dinner's almost done. Yum, 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 everybody come. Yum, 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 all the people say, oh yay, oh yay. delicious all right we have done all the things so I can move my last star over that leaves us with goodbye and I just want you to remember pay attention friends to what feels good to you pay attention to what feels important to you and remember, you can almost always connect with people over good food and good music. When in doubt, sing a song. I want to thank um, Storytime Solidarity for letting me be a part, for allowing me to be a part of Storytime Solidarity. I want to thank AB Kids. And I want to thank Augusta Baker for her work making sure that all the books on the shelves provided positive representation. That's what we need. That's what I've tried to be here for you today. And I'm gonna leave you with a goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye to you. Goodbye to me and goodbye to you too. Goodbye, goodbye to you. Goodbye to me and you. Goodbye to me.